All right, back into pack two, and we're going for some early game fives. And this run focuses on the Toucan. And Toucan is not that good. I don't think it has ever really been good. I guess now it probably is slightly better than it used to be because there are more units to actually support it. But part of the issue is that there aren't that many food items or held perks that are all that good to pass back, especially in the early game. Like passing back uh, honey <laughs> isn't great. Um, what else could you pass back? Cherry, I haven't tried that, does that work? Um, you can pass back um, meat bone, but meat bone's been nerfed. Uh, really, there's not a huge selection of things that, that make it uh, all that appealing. And a lot of the best equipment in the game is single use only. So pepper and melon, you can't pass them back because they get removed uh, as soon as you get hit. Now, technically, you can pass them back using whale, but I mean, that setup is so uh, suboptimal, it's not worth going for anyway. So Toucan, it has received a little bit of uh, love with the update because you're now able to use the uh, Toucan's ability to activate other pets. So for instance, if Toucan passes back um, a held, held perk, then Axolotl will trigger and give permanent buffs to that unit. You've also got more units uh, like Turtle. So Turtle with Toucan didn't work because Melon is single use. But if you have Tar in front of Toucan, then you can chain and pass back the, uh, the Chili. And the same thing applies with Skewer. So here I've got the double dromedary and I'm starting to scale up some Toucans. And then I decide I'm going to bring one of them in just to try and uh, maintain lives. And I think I'm going to give it the garlic now since it's, you know, probably the best thing that the two can, can be passing back for now. And I'm looking to freeze Flying Squirrel because we're going to need some uh, scaling and Flying Squirrel is going to regenerate any to toys that we need. I also have a uh, play against all packs turned on. I say that almost every time now with this uh, pack two footage, just in case of uh, ang anglerfish um, later on because it, it can be quite amusing to steal stuff from the other packs. It's probably, I don't know if it's easier going for these with uh, with play against all packs turned on. I mean, sometimes it can feel easier if you get a lot of easy golden pack opponents, but you can also face a lot of horrendous pack three teams. Um, you know, like this one, it doesn't look that nasty, but it's turn six and their weakest unit is a two six. Um, you know, they get the uh, capybara chain or clownfish chain and it can be very frustrating. So here there is uh, another perk in the shop, but it's the pie, which again, it only uh, has a, an effect at the start of battle. So the toucan uh, will activate the pie at the very beginning, but then when it passes it backwards, it doesn't do anything. However, because we have the toucan chain, we can replace the pie with the garlic and then it chains and passes it back and we're getting extra value. So the garlic ended up being passed to uh, three pets after the first toucan. And we got the win as a result, I think. We get a small amount of scaling from the, uh, the oven mitts. And until we find anything better, we're just going to keep going with that. I could have bought tar there, but... Um, Really, I'm just looking for scaling for the Toucans because they're the only units I want to keep at the end of the game. And I'm going to bring in the Mosasaurus. Really, I should have put the Mosasaurus further back because the toy is not going to activate for two turns. But um, the Toucan is level two at the front now, so it will pass back the, the double garlic uh, and, and it will keep the chain going. So we're doing pretty well here and Probably the best way to go about trying to get this five is to just win as quickly as possible because the later the game goes, the less relevant the Toucan's ability is and we really haven't scaled all that aggressively. We're just getting matched with their pretty nice opponents. And here we actually face an armadillo team from pack one. And this may be one of the first times ever that I've lost to an armadillo team. I think they would have beaten us regardless of the armadillo because the camel is just so good. But um, I've probably had, I don't know, five to ten games. Uh, since the update, there haven't really been that many opponents that have actually had the, uh, 
the armadillo, but I feel like almost every game I've won as a result of the armadillo giving me health for nothing. So again, we can bring the Mosasaurus in. It's really not uh, as, you know, the scaling two turns waiting for plus six, six spread over two units. It's good, but it's probably only really good if you're combining it with other uh, toy scaling. And we will get the plus six from the, the flashlight. But actually here we get very fortunate on turn 10 to run into an extremely weak pack one team with a level two horse uh, with honey on it. Very optimistic uh, from that team. Although they're, you know, they were doing pretty well there. Six trophies turn 10 with that, that lineup. So obviously T-Rex doesn't do anything, so we just bypass that. You know, we took in his tier two. So I think, uh, yeah, we'll freeze the pancakes and look to put that on the next toucan. And we can also freeze the chameleon to get one more activation on the flashlight before we have to sell everything. Another unbelievably weak team from pack uh, one. I really don't know why I'm getting matched with this opponent. I guess it's simply because they've been winning, but how that team's been winning, I don't know because their stats are horrendous. So now we get the, uh, the boost from the toys and the Mosasaurus. We can bring in the chameleon. I can't remember if I give the buff to the front token. I guess I, yeah, okay. Probably best just to stack buffs onto the, the one unit because it can potentially solo most of an opposing team. And here I get the opportunity. I had been planning to do it and I did have some runs where I tried to do this for more than one turn, but I wanted to have at least one turn of axolotl scaling in there because, I mean, that's the whole point of it. However, it's extremely bad and we get matched with the... Uh, we get matched with this um, uh, star pack team which pulls the axolotl to the front so we don't even get the scaling and yet we won simply as a result of the uh, the toy scaling. So I'm going to give the uh, the token, the weakest token, the uh, pancakes and then we're just going to sell the axolotl. We're on nine wins anyway. So I think the axolotl in total gave plus three, three maybe. Uh, so pretty poor and I freeze the double angler just in case. Um, I would be willing to uh, throw a five of a kind if I got something very funny from the anglerfish. But we get matched with this golden pack team and the front two can get brought down to 19 health but the garlic means it instant kills the falcon and then again the garlic is going to mean that we, uh, we, we get through the summons and the, the last two can survive. So there we go, a very quick five two can win.